all dealing in marijuana, hashish, something that comes from the cannabis plant. A large quantities, would they be considered dealers? In Spain, they, you are convicted on a vagrancy law. Since there are no laws dealing and pertaining to drugs in particular, you're convicted on a vagrancy law for trafficking. Trafficking, the Spanish government considers anything that you might just hand a cigarette for, to someone to hold for a minute, a joint with marijuana. This is trafficking. Or loaning money so that it can be... Paid. Loaning money would also be trafficking. Were these men particularly bitter about their conviction? They, they seem to accept it because I don't think there's much they can do about it, and I think they realize this. Well, Mike, this looks like a clean prison. It is a very clean prison. It's, this is the front of the prison as you came up to it from the road. It's a very secluded prison also. It's out on the northeast side of Spain, or Madrid. This is the main entrance? This is the entrance going into the cell area. Anything in front of this gate is offices and this type thing. This picture shows the, shows the gate that actually goes into the uh, cell divisions where the prisoners are kept. Looks very antiseptic, almost like a hospital. It is. It's quite clean. The only problem the prisoners had was with bed bugs. And this is the cell area. What is the significance of the number seven? In this prison, there were seven cell areas, seven cell blocks, they called them. And this, in each one, there was a different grade of prisoner. In number one, political prisoners. In number two, a prisoner a little more dangerous. And in number seven, were the American prisoners because the Spanish government considers them perhaps the most dangerous of anyone. The most dangerous, number seven classification. Because they corrupt the Spanish youth with trafficking drugs. And this is the interior of a cell? Yes, this is merely the rooms where the prisoners stay. The rooms are very clean, and this is, again, the interior. And you can see the bed and the clock and everything. I, it's quite clean, quite nice for a prison. I asked all three of them if they had a message or anything for foreign young, youngsters traveling in foreign countries, and they said, yes, don't touch drugs, stay away. It's not worth it.